Hey, in today's video, we're going to talk about how amazing the Grenadier perk card is, and we're going to talk about the differences between the public patch right now and how amazing it is in the public test servers. Now, we are also going to be going over some more data my images, such as a few Season 6 skins, as well as some other stuff there too. And finally, we'll finish it off with the Vault 51 boss update, as well as the chest reward. Now, what you saw before was without the perk card, and this is with the perk card right now in public test servers. A huge, massive difference between the first one and the second one. You can tell right away the explosion radius is phenomenal. It covers up a wide, vast area, obviously. And then I wanted to show you guys how amazing this is with the rocket launcher as well. So let's go ahead, or the missile launcher, excuse me. So what we'll do is we'll fire a shot, okay? Pretty basic. Now let's throw on that, that perk card. I think that that will make a huge difference, right? So let's shoot one off and bada bang. I think this right here is going to be the game changer for a lot of weapons, including the Broadsider. So now the Broadsider has some use. This will be great for the grenade launcher as well and many other explosive weapons. Now let's dive into the data mining and let's talk about how there's going to be some of these spoilers ahead. Uh, if you want to leave, leave now. But what we're going to see right here is some of the Season 6 rewards. And how do I know that this is coming from the actual scoreboard? Well, it's only the skins that I can tell from. But there are some other stuff in here that I'm going to show you that's not related to skins, but I'll show you the scoreboard real quickly so you know what I'm talking about. But most of these skins are from that scoreboard, and to be honest, I want to talk about the mistress real quick. Is Man, for the power armor guys, I, I in the last video, I'm just saying that if they added some more bling to it instead of just this plain green, they could have added some of that gold on there that we see even on this this outfit right here. You can see that it has some gold to it. I think some sort of bling would have made the power armor just a lot better. So that's my only complaint with it. I It's just eh. What you just saw right there was a staircase that's related to some sort of haunted set that's coming to us soon. Uh, right here, this is a new silo shelter yeah it's it's gonna be crazy we don't have a lot of information on this exactly what looks like on the inside but i do have something to show you which you're gonna be absolutely interested in which is a missile now this is the smaller version there's two different ones obviously you got that bigger version that's kind of like the um the vault you know the vault shelter that you get that massive one and let's see if i have that missile one that i just talked about well that's interesting there but i uh Basically, there is a missile somewhere along. Ah, here we go, right there. And then, pretty much right there, guys. I think we're going to have a missile within this this silo. So it's going to be a really interesting shelter. I think it might be one of the best ones that they've made because we kind of just have something else besides the actual vaults. We have now a missile silo right here. Is a part of the haunted set that I was talking about. At least it's listed as haunted. I'm so stoked, man. I, I'm getting some Halloween vibes instantly from this. I mean, with the boarded windows from the last data mine objects, I can see this on this, man. It's just, it's just absolutely cool. Now, I, I'm kind of back and forth with the way Bethesda is. I mean, I like the Atomic Shop items, but I think more content would be better. Oh, and by the way, that right there is a survival tent. Not too, you know, I'm not a big fan of it, but most of you might be. And I don't recall what the file said for this, but I believe this is going to be a weapon skin. Now let's go over to the good old slot machine. Yes, this is absolutely a slot machine without a doubt. I've zoomed up here so that you can see what it is when it is rolled. There's a Mothman, you got a hatchet. And then on the left side, it shows what you can earn when you get the specific ones lined up. I think a cool variant of this would be the slot machine from Vault 51. This is going to be one of the Season 7 rewards as well. Is a Samurai, literally Sam or I, power armor. And uh, this is going to be unlockable. There's actually two different variants. There is the red version and then there is the sort of the white bluish version. Almost like the last rewards that we were able to unlock. Possibly season 4 rewards if I'm correct on that. We do know some of these are unlockable because again, this is on the Season 6 scoreboard. And I'm talking about just the display of it, overall the scoreboard art, not the actual rewards. Because of course this has not been released yet on the public test server. So 
nobody knows the full list but from what we know so far, this is what we're able to unlock. And the objects that I showed before, I'm not too sure if that's going to be in the scoreboard. And let's finish the video off with the Vault 51 boss. So apparently this is the boss right here, which is a Hellfire prototype with a Scorched inside. The crazy part is the damage has increased from the last patch for the public test servers. This newest one right now has made this boss extremely powerful. You're going to want to be at least with a team or possibly by yourself if you're able to manage this with maybe the Filled Surgeon so that you're constantly healing up as you're, you know, overall fighting these, this boss. Now this is one of the reward chests or the loot chests. Honestly, I'm not too big of a fan of it, guys. I think that this should have been a better reward, especially if you're going to be going after a so-called boss. I mean, this thing, it doesn't make sense. To me that you would go through all that trouble and just bam uh hopefully when they do update this some more because again this is all in the public test server so things are going to change over time but i would assume that eventually somewhere along the line we're gonna have zach's voice line over stuff make it more a little bit more climatic because as a boss battle should be it should be overall intense maybe somewhat like the good old earl event where you know stuff is shaking maybe something to make it more interesting and, and uh, intriguing i should say so this is what we know so far with everything i hope that you found everything helpful especially the grin and deer per card that's coming to us uh the update coming to us soon which you'll be able to have a better explosive radius because if you did not know that does not work too well on the current patch that we're all on right now, the live patch. So I appreciate every single one of you that have taken the time to watch this video, including the ones in the past and the ones that leave really great comments. Of course, you're going to get the negative ones, but I, they're cool too, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to put it into this video. Hopefully you learned something out of it. I'm going to head on out. Can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you think down below and see ya.